we're all part of one community. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Nabongo coming to you from the National Geographic headquarters in Washington, D.C. For over 130 years, Nat Geo has used its groundbreaking storytelling to inspire the explorer and everyone, including me. In October 2019, I became the first black woman to visit every country in the world. Travel has helped me better understand the world and my place in it. But when traveling isn't possible, Nat Geo helps us all explore the furthest reaches of the earth and beyond. Tonight, I am happy to serve as your guide as we embark on a musical journey that will take us from the woodlands of Norway to the coast of California. We have an incredible Earth Day Eve lineup ahead with uplifting musical performances by some of our favorite planet-loving artists alongside shout-outs from beloved National Geographic explorers. The party continues afterwards on Nat Geo's TikTok. All of this as we count down to Earth Day 2021 and the world premiere of Secrets of the Whales on Disney+. In a moment, singer-songwriter Alt Bloom will tell you how you can be part of Share Your Spot, Nat Geo's Earth Day hashtag challenge. So kick back and get ready to celebrate our shared love for the planet we all call home. Where is your favorite spot? That spot where our planet feels most like home where you feel most alive, most hopeful, most connected to our world and others. National Geographic wants you to share your favorite spot using hashtag share your spot. We may even share it with our hundreds of millions of followers, a growing movement of people who love our planet as much as you do. Join us and share your spot. Hi, I'm Aurora and I, I think it's fantastic to be here with you on National Geographic Earth Day Eve. I, I especially love being here because the matter of nature and the earth is such an important cause for me. It lies so, so close to my heart. For me, nature is definitely the biggest source of inspiration and it's the only place I feel like I can I can go where no one ever asks you of anything you, you can just purely exist out here which I really really love this forest is a forest that means a lot to me I spent a lot of time here as a child and it's very nice to be back I feel very at home <laughs> Just like the seed, I don't know where to go Through dirt and shadow I grow I am reaching light through the struggle Just like the seed, I am chasing the wonder I unravel myself So my tears can be red I will watch 
water at the ground where I stand So the flowers can grow back again Cause just like the seed Everything wants to live We are burning our fingers But we learn and You cannot eat money, oh no You cannot eat money, oh no You cannot eat money, oh no When the last tree has fallen and the rivers are poison You cannot eat money, oh no Oh no Feed me sunlight Feed me truth and feed me prayers. Feed me sunlight, feed me air. Feed me truth and feed me prayers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. start the night. After this, I'll be grabbing my phone to check out everyone's happy places posted with hashtag share your spots. So get on it. Now I'm standing in the historic Hubbard Hall, the original home of the nonprofit National Geographic Society. For over 130 years, the society has been investing in bold people and transformative ideas, including the two people we're about to hear from. Before that, here's more about how the National Geographic Society drives impact by identifying and funding an international community of explorers. If I was an explorer. If I was an explorer. I would wake up. Put on my hijab. Put on my gear. I would take my tools to investigate. I'd put on my spacesuit. Then I'd shoot off into the stars. If I was an explorer, I wouldn't care about getting dirty. I would take my findings back to the lab to build things, create new things. Being an explorer is all about understanding this world better. To show the world a different way of seeing. To venture into uncharted territory. My name is Arthur Huang. Ana Reyes Morales. Dominique de Mil Correa Gonzalez. And this, this is what an explorer looks, looks like. like. Hey 
everyone, I'm Dr. Ray Wynn Grant. I'm a wildlife ecologist and a National Geographic explorer. Thank you for joining me and National Geographic for this Earth Day Eve celebration. I love Earth Day. I feel like I celebrate it every single time I go out and do my work. But on April 22nd, I always love to connect with nature. Whether it's a trail or a local park or even going to the beach, connecting with nature on April 22nd is my way of giving back and saying thanks. Some work I've been doing recently that I'm super proud of. It's aiming to protect female animals to make sure that they have the healthy, thriving habitats they need in order to give birth. Females create the next generation of wild animals for our planet and their health means the health of the world. Where's my spot? Here is my spot. Hello everyone, my name is Lily Galceria and I'm a National Geographic Explorer here in San Diego, California in my favorite place in the whole wide world, the Slab. Uh, this place is really important to me. It brings together people and planet and place. We've got the blue sky and the beautiful golden sun, the big trees, the green grass in this concrete that allows all of my friends and I to come here every weekend to be able to practice break dancing. Earth Day is about connectivity and understanding that we're connected to people and place and planet. And this space represents that to me in its fullest degree. So I wanted to share it with you. Join me and the Nacho family for a celebration on Earth Day 2021. Bye. <laughs> Wonderful to hear from Ray and Lily Gall. I see that breakdancing. Is there a cooler job title than National Geographic Explorer? Right now, I'm super excited to be among the first to step foot in the National Geographic Museum's brand new exhibition, Once Upon a Climb, Stories from Everest, opening later this year. The exhibit is the latest in National Geographic's long history of working on Mount Everest, including awarding nearly 200 grants for Everest-related projects. In addition to being the world's highest mountain, Everest is also a massive water tower that supplies drinking water to over a billion people, making its protection all the more important. But now, we travel from Nepal to Sweden to link up with Jose Gonzalez, who will be performing his brand new track, Visions, off his forthcoming album, Local Valley. Then, we'll catch a performance from one of the greatest artists in world music today, the legendary Angelique Kijo. Hi, I'm Jose Gonzalez. I'm happy to be here with you on this Earth Day Eve. I'm excited as a longtime fan of National Geographic and as a fan of our planet. We're filming this at Sarah Vester School near my hometown, Gothenburg on the west coast of Sweden. Since I was a kid, we used to cycle to the ocean to hang out with friends and family. And I love it by the archipelago with its granite rocks, oaks, and pine trees just by the water. The last couple of years, I've been writing and recording close to nature, taking walks while listening to sketches of my half-finished songs. I have to say the forests and water give me perspective and calm. Suddenly I can pause my ruminating thoughts and feel at ease. The song I'm going to play is called Visions. It's a song for our humanity in the Anthropocene. We are the apes that are starting to understand the universe and our place in it. We are changing our surroundings at an exceedingly rapid pace, so much that we're becoming stewards of our planet. Whether we like it, or not. So we need visions, visions of the future, collective visions that are wise enough to learn from our past and from the present, envisioning a future where we all can flourish.
ambitions Trying to make sense of the now Trying to make sense of the past To show us how Visions Imagining the world could be Shaping a mosaic of fate For all sentient beings Visions Cycles of growth and decay Cascading chains of events With no one to praise or blame Suffering and pain We are patiently inching away Toward unreachable utopias Visions Enslaved by the forces of nature Elevated by mindless replicators Challenge to steer our collective destiny. Visions, look at the magic of reality while accepting with all honesty that we can't know for sure what's next. No, we can't know for sure what's next. But that we're in this Together We are here together Hello everyone, my name is Angelique Kijo and I'm so happy to be with National Geographic to celebrate the Earth Day evening. This song, Dignity, is about our dignity as human beings as we live on the earth that is carrying us, that have carried us for generations. And I think it's about time that we pay attention more to Mother Earth. My continent is the one that is really feeling the, 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 the heat and feeling the pain of this uh, global change. And I think that we, that's the reason why I wrote this song with Yemi Aleade, and I'm trying to bring the young generation of musicians to raise their voice to save our earth, and all together we can surely do this. Eya no blo sekpe ya no blo yeli yeli o vi a nyowe for it. Eya no blo sekpe ya no blo yeli yeli o vi a nyowe for it. Mera ho o vi a nyowe for it. Yo kochi o vi a nyowe for it. Dekpe no o vi a nyowe for it. Dekpe no o vi a nyowe for it. Dignity can save you or kill you. Dignity, I wanna hold on to you. Dignity. Can hurt you or heal you. Dignity, I wanna hold on to you. When you day, yesterday, 
When the gunman shoot man down No retreat, no surrender He can push you no far down Many come, many go We know the sleep, we the for all We come in peace Not in pieces, oh yeah, yeah, oh God Respect is reciprocal Is reciprocal Respect is reciprocal By oh God oh, 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 respect is reciprocal Reciprocal, respect is reciprocal. So that's okay. What I did this guy say? I don't tire, tire. Oh. As I they look your eyes, say. giant of Africa. When we life be better, you promise me tomorrow. But nobody sees tomorrow. I don't tire, oh. tire for the lumber. I don't tire, oh. tire, tire. Why they do they lie? I don't tire, oh, tire, tire, tire for the lumber. I don't tire, oh, tire, tire. Why they do they lie? My yoga, oh, 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 respect is reciprocal. It is reciprocal. Respect is reciprocal. My yoga, oh, 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 respect is reciprocal. It's reciprocal. Respect is reciprocal. When you day, yesterday, when the gunman shoot man down, no retreat, no surrender, he can push you no fall down. Many come, many go, we know the sleep, we there for all, we come in peace. Nothing pieces, oh yeah, yeah, the claims of hope in humanity, the last frontier of our own sanity. Spread your love to all equally And plant the seeds of radical beauty The wind will blow, the light will show Real beauty on a brand new day The wind will blow, the light will show Real beauty on a brand new day It will glow on a brand new day A clear way on a brand new day It will glow on a brand new day We can jump on a brand new Walk with your head straight Stand with your head straight Walk with your head straight Stand with your head straight Next up, the Berkshires. An epic performance from the incomparable Yo-Yo Ma awaits. He is also featured in the May issue of National Geographic magazine, now on newsstands. But first, we're honored to share a special message from the ever-inspiring Dr. Jane Goodall. Hello, this is Jane Goodall, and it's Earth Day, so thank you for joining me on Earth Day. It's a day when we should be celebrating the wonder of this amazing planet on which we live. It's our only home. And we still have so much to discover. But the tragedy is that we've been disrespecting nature. And this is causing climate change. It's causing the loss of species, the loss of biodiversities. So we're in the sixth great extinction. And so today on Earth Day, we need to reflect on the harm that we've done and think about ways in which we can work together to heal that harm before it's too late. And you know, just as an aside, it was our disrespect of nature and animals that caused this terrible pandemic that's led to so much suffering around the world. And you know, we created conditions with trafficking animals around the world, killing them, eating them, wildlife markets, factory farms, and all these things we create conditions where a, a pathogen like a virus can jump from an animal to a person and sometimes create a new disease, as was the case with COVID-19. Bad luck for us, that was very contagious and just went racing around the world. And we'll get through that, but then we're faced with two real threats, climate change and loss of biodiversity. And that also is caused by our disrespect for both of these, by our disrespect for nature. So, as I say on this Earth Day, let's get together and start thinking of ways in which we can heal some of this harm. What can you do? What can I do? 
I think, first of all, we can make lists of what we as individuals can do to save the planet. And that's something you can all do, sit down, discuss it with your friends, your parents, uh, and make a list. But not just for Earth Day. We should look at this list every single day because that's what it's going to take to save the planet. So the message really is Earth Day every day. Earth Day for planet Earth. This beautiful planet that nurtures us, this environment of which we are part and on which we depend and we mustn't go on destroying it. Partly because it's beautiful in its own right, partly because it's destroying our great-grandchildren's future if we don't start healing it. You know, we're already using up some natural resources faster than nature can replenish them. And as species become extinct, so it, I like to think of it as tearing holes in this beautiful tapestry of life. And as more and more species become extinct, so this tapestry becomes more and more tattered and a whole ecosystem can collapse. So think of what you can do as an individual. I try to think every day of my ecological footprint. I try to turn off lights and not waste water. And well, in the pandemic, I haven't been able to fly or I haven't even driven anywhere. So I think my footprint has been specially light. Um, not eating meat and trying to keep away from dairy. I've been pretty well vegan while I've been at home and sending out messages all over the world on Zooms and podcasts so that, so, so that we encourage more and more people to lead lives that are friendly towards nature. And that's what you can do. And our Roots and Shoots program, which is for young people from preschool, university and everything in between, and even some adults now. These are exactly the kind of things that they and other youth programs with the same mission are doing. So think about all of this on Earth Day. Do your bit and together we can save the planet. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm so happy to join you from the grounds of Tanglewood. These Berkshire Hills in Western Massachusetts have been a spiritual home for many, a source of inspiration for makers of music and poetry, for builders of homes and communities for millennia. Look to the shores of the lake in the distance, Lake Mackinac. Mackinac, the home of the Mohicans, the indigenous people of this place who live now in Upper Wisconsin and are known as the Stockbridge Muncie Band of Mohican Indians are the people for whom the waters are never still. They used to share music on the shores of the lake and they still cherish this land as hallowed ground. Today, by combining the human enterprise of music with the majesty of nature, we continue a sacred practice. Through the ephemeral nature of music, we are reminded that we are but temporary custodians of this land, and it is our duty to cultivate the land and ourselves, to find balance between humans and nature, as this place's indigenous people teach us, in order that our species can survive and thrive. So, with gratitude, here is this offering of music for our Earth Day celebration.
such a moving performance from Yo-Yo Ma. You can learn more about him in Nat Geo's new book, Spark, coming out April 27th from best-selling author Claudia Kalb. And does it get any better than Jane? Coming up next, we have a world premiere video from My Morning Jacket, as well as an appearance by singer-songwriter Valerie June. And stick around, still coming up are performances by Willie Nelson, Maggie Rogers, and so much more. Hi, I'm Jim James from My Morning Jacket, and we are so grateful to be here with you and National Geographic on Earth Day Eve. As we know now more than ever, it's so important for us all to send as much love as we can to Mother Earth for her continued healing and protection. Thank you. Are we undercover? What's left to see? Trying to discover how it came to be in a past life. Feeling loved, but now in the present, seeing blood. And all I want to do is feel. 
Lucy Hawkes. I'm a marine biologist and a National Geographic explorer and I'm here in Devon on the south coast of England. I'm passionate about protecting the earth around me because I study some of the most amazing animals that we share it with. I study animal migration and I use tracking tags to follow the incredible movements of migratory species. Because of my work I've been able to find out that birds can make flights of more than a thousand miles at a time without needing to stop to eat, to drink or to sleep or that sea turtles in our oceans can stay underwater for more than seven hours at a time. And currently, I'm studying a small, angry white seabird called the Arctic Tern. These birds weigh about the same as a bar of soap, but they can make a journey every year from the Arctic to Antarctica and back again, clocking up enough distance over the course of their life to make six return trips to the moon and back. We're tracking them using tiny little tracking tags like this, and I can't tell you what a privilege it is as a scientist to be allowed to hold this amazing bird in my hand, to look at this tiny little creature that sees the world at a planetary scale. And the more I study these animals, the more passionate I am about protecting the earth around me and around you too, because every spring and fall, the skies above you and the oceans around you are filled with incredible migratory species, no matter where you live on earth. And I consider myself really lucky to share the, the planet with these animals. So thank you for joining me and the National Geographic on this Earth Day Eve celebration. Hello there, I'm Valerie June. I recorded my performance for National Geographic at Prospect Park. And I recorded a song called Home Inside. It's a song to remind all of us that Earth is a school and how we treat the Earth and how we respect each other is super, super important for the healing of our planet. As I wrote in my book, Mother Earth is continuously trying to communicate with us. The environment is in a state of emergency. We're facing a climate crisis. But miraculous things can happen when we are living mindfully. The smallest steps to respect the earth could positively shift the planet faster than we could ever dream would be possible. I do believe that each citizen of the planet has a responsibility to respect the earth, to treat it kind, and in doing so, love and respect each other. Enjoy the song. What a cool video from My Morning Jacket and a stellar performance by Valerie June. Also, great to hear from Lucy. Next up, 
we've got National Geographic explorer and photographer Ryan Scarry giving us a sneak peek at Secrets of the Whales, the epic four-part series premiering on Disney Plus on Earth Day. Hi, I'm Brian Scarry, National Geographic photographer and producer, and thank you for joining me and Nat Geo for this Earth Day Eve celebration. You know, throughout all the years that I've been exploring the world's oceans, I've seen so many beautiful things, but I often see some pretty bad things out there too. Still, I remain hopeful because I know the ocean has the ability to heal itself if we simply protect it. I first learned about this while working on a story in New Zealand about marine protected areas and saw underwater ecosystems that had rebounded and were thriving because of conservation. So the place that makes me feel most hopeful about the future of the planet is the Poor Knights Island in New Zealand, because it was there that I first learned what was possible. I think every day should be Earth Day because I've seen time and time again just how extraordinary our planet is. I remain passionate about our planet because whether you travel to the ends of the Earth or into your own backyard, discoveries can be made. And while Earth Day is always a special day, this year there's a special reason to celebrate. My three-year project about whales culminates with the Earth Day premiere of the Disney Plus original series, Secrets of the Whales. It's also the subject of my new National Geographic book of the same name, as well as a cover story in the May issue of National Geographic magazine. I'm excited to share a clip from the series with all of you and hope you'll check it out on Disney Plus starting at midnight. Whales are the world's most intelligent giants, but they're still a mystery. Only now are we beginning to understand their secrets. Right there, right there. Three years of filming reveal an extraordinary truth. Whales have culture. Each family speaks a unique language. They love deeply. with joy. And mourn their dead. Whales are just like us. The smartest of them all is proving that these social bonds are the secret to their success. What amazing footage! Don't forget the Disney Plus world premiere of Secrets of the Whales is just a few hours away. For now, let's check out a fun performance of I Don't Want to Live on Mars by the one and only Ziggy Marley before Rostam serenades us with These Kids We Knew. Hi, I'm Ziggy Marley and I'm very happy to be here celebrating Earth Day on this Earth Day Eve with National Geographic. Earth is my mother, there is no other. So for me, so for all of you. So coming together and giving um, some love, showing some appreciation and highlighting the, um, the affection and the importance of respecting the Earth and treating the Earth as a partner in our life. I think it's very important and I'm very happy to be a part of it. So um, thank you for having me and enjoy. This one is called I Don't Want to Live on Mars and I wrote this specially as a song dedicated to the love, my earth, you know. I don't want to live on Mars. I don't want to drive space cars. I just want to be with you and do the things we do. Don't want to escape to the moon Can't let the world go boom I just want to be with you 
And do the right things to you You give me everything I need You're my garden, you're my breeze Let me get down and thank you please Hey, let me lay here for a while Cause your beauty makes me high If you smile then I will smile Yeah Hey, let me make one thing clear Nothing can compare Your love is the blue sky Your love is a butterfly I don't wanna live on Mars I don't wanna drive space cars I just wanna be with you And do the things we do Don't wanna escape to the moon Can't let the world go boom I just wanna be with you And do the right things to you Oh good karma, you're my queen Precious things my eyes have seen Sweetest place they'd ever been You make me feel just like a king I'll never leave you for that girl Oh my darling, you're my world Yeah, hey, that bitch called winter can be mean Summers like I never seen they say I'm love crazy, love crazy, yeah Cause I don't wanna live on Mars I don't wanna drive space cars I just wanna be with you Let's do the things we do Don't wanna escape to the moon Even if the world, whoa I just wanna be with you And do the right things to you can't take the heat, turn down the fire Oh, can't swim, don't tempt the water Believe what you want This is my right of view I'm gonna be true I got to get true to you oh, Cause I don't wanna live on Mars yeah, I don't wanna drive space cars I just wanna be with you and do the things we do Don't wanna escape to the moon I can't let the world go boom I just wanna be with you I do the right things to you I don't wanna live on Mars I don't wanna drive space cars I just wanna be with you Let's do the things we do Don't wanna escape to the moon Yo, even if the... No, no, no I just want to be with you I'll do the right things to you Cause I don't want to live on Mars Love you Mother Earth, Blessed Mother Day Hey what's up, this is Ross Sim. It's so nice to be here with you all and with National Geographic on Earth Day The song I'm going to play for you is called These Kids We Knew I wrote it while I had COVID-19 the problems that we have in our world are interrelated. The environment is something that we have to all take care of. And these interrelated problems can't be solved unless we solve all of them. And it can't happen unless we do it all together. Um, that's really how I feel about it. And hopefully some of that philosophy made it into the song. Thank you.
Those were truly wonderful performances from Ziggy and Rostam. Earlier we heard from Jane Goodall who once said, only if we understand will we care. Only if we care will we help. Only if we help shall all be saved. That mindset has been at the core of Nat Geo's purpose-driven storytelling. And now they're taking that one step further through the creation of Planet Possible, National Geographic's new platform to inform, inspire, and empower consumers to live more lightly on the planet. Here's more about this exciting new program. And then we'll pay a visit to Willie Nelson's backyard for a performance of Laws of Nature. Hurry, the mountains are calling. Dive in the lakes and the ocean. Hi, National Geographic. I'm Willie Nelson, and this is my song, Laws of Nature. I get my energy from the sun. I'm not the only one And I feel better when I'm done I get my energy from the sun I get my oxygen from the air Plenty for me and plenty to spare And I can find it anywhere I get my oxygen from the air And I plant my seeds in a howling gale Laws of nature still prevail Look at them seeds and look at me The apple didn't fall far from the tree I get my water from the rain And if it don't rain, I'll die Stormy weather saves my life Sometimes I laugh and I wonder why Stormy weather saves my life Sometimes I laugh and wonder why We're getting closer and closer to the world premiere of Secrets of the Whales on Disney+. One of the biggest threats to marine life is single-use plastics. So here I am in a dress made from 79 recycled plastic bottles. Isn't it the perfect Earth Day Eve outfit? And now we'll close out the program with Maggie Rogers, who will be delivering a golden hour performance of Love You For A Long Time. Before we go, don't forget to share photos and videos of your happy places using hashtag ShareYourSpot. And come over to Nat Geo's TikTok next for a very special after party. Thank you so much for joining us. 
We hope you feel excited and inspired by everything you've seen and heard today. Happy Earth Day from National Geographic. Hey, I'm Maggie Rogers here with National Geographic on Earth Day Eve. We are in beautiful Topanga Canyon in Los Angeles, California, which I love for its wildness and for its history of music. I am joined tonight by Sam Gandell and Sam Wilkes, two of my favorite musicians to play Love You for a Long Time. Like a bright new dream that I was stepping in I saw your face and I knew it was a sign And I still think about that moment all of the time
The voice is asking for change Just follow the rivers and forests around you Don't worry, there's always a way I believe the impossible is possible together we're gonna see all the bigger and the brighter and the better The lakes and the ocean Float like the stars up in space The wild is out there Pulling inside you A feeling that can't be 